for our third bruschetta, we're going to do chocolate banana macadamia nut bruschetta. So first, we're going to take a banana, and we're going to peel it. And we're going to slice it up. Um, we're going to toss them with a tablespoon of butter in a bowl. So now I'm going to do that. Throw them all right in. And we're going to take a tablespoon of butter. And I'm just going to toss them in my hands because I can and I will. So once you got them all tossed, take them to a baking sheet, kind of spread them out on the baking sheet. Um, and I'm going to pop it into the oven at 425 for 10 to 15 minutes at 4 until golden and brown. So I'm taking out my bananas right now. Woo! <laughs> Not to the heat glass. They are looking great. They're a little dried out, getting pretty golden. They look amazing. So first, while those are kind of sizzling down, you hear the sizzling? Yeah, that's because they're hot. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take a some Nutella for our choco, and we're gonna take a knife and we're gonna spread it right on. So we're gonna try to get some Iron Chef design in, up into his house. Action! They're probably super duper hot. As I've been told. So now we're gonna add some whipped cream and then finish it with top macadamia. Make sure you don't put too much whipped cream on there. Just kind of like a little dollop like that. And then we're gonna take our macadamia nuts, crushed, chopped, whatever, and we're just gonna like sprinkle them on top. And you don't have to use too much. And there's our finished one. I'm gonna finish off these other two, and then we'll get our third one, or we'll get our fourth one going. That is an orange cream bruschetta. Be psyched. Segmenting a blood orange to use in our blood orange one. Um, it's kind of easy, it's kind of difficult. Not that hard for me, I guess. Um, I'm taking off the skins in a way other than peeling. Yeah, we're trying to get the flesh without the membranes. And say in the membrane. So, I'm just going to plop these in like that. You're going to want a pretty sharp knife for this. It makes it a heck of a lot easier if you have a sharp knife. If you don't, you have no chance you're screwed. So this is number four, our blood orange bruschetta. And um, we're going to first, we have our four toast rounds. And first we're going to, I have actually two blood oranges segmented and uh, pulled off from their membranes as I showed earlier and I'm going to separate the juices and the segments in a little pan with a little common house strainer and and then I'm going to take one tablespoon of sugar after I move this I'm going to take one tablespoon of sugar and get a good tablespoon of sugar. And I'm going to put it in the pan. And I'm going to make a syrup, which will take a little bit of time, so I'll meet you back then. Now we're going to assemble it. And we're going to do whipped cream first. And then we're going to do two or more, however many you want, blood orange segments. And blood oranges aren't that hard to get. You just kind of got to look for them because they're kind of, they look a lot like an orange. Um, so we have two of those. Then we're going to take some chocolate shavings. Put the rest of those back in there. And then we're going to take some of our simple syrup. And we're going to just drizzle it right over the, that's not enough. Come on. We're going to drizzle it right over the top. There is our last uh, bruschetta. So here we are with our finished product, and uh, we have our cannoli bruschetta. We have our um, strawberry and balsamic vinegar bruschetta. We have our 
um, chocolate, uh, choco banana, uh, macadamia nut bruschetta, and our very special one, my favorite, um, our blood orange cream chocolate sprinkle syrup bruschetta, and they're all on this uh, platter, chalk platter, very nice, and I can't wait to dig in, but before I do that, I think I better say, this is Hunter Hale, I'm signing off from Hale's Kitchen.